Hello and welcome to this ESEC tutorial. Here I would like to show you how to quantify histone marks at the transcription start sites, as well as to identify a set of genes with a particularly high level of one of the histone marks and sort them and visualize them uh, according to the log twofold difference of another set of histone marks. So first you will need some data. Uh, the data for the, this uh, Tutorial can be found at the esec.net under under videos. There is a session file associated to the link to this video. You will also need to download some gene set if you don't already have one that you can load. You can do that by clicking on download below the gene set and it will take a while and then after it's downloaded then you will see the import wizard and just click OK. Once it's imported, then you can extract some regions from these genes, some regions that correspond to the gene bodies. Just use the default settings, and after they are extracted, then you can rename it to a shorter name. Here we'll call it genes. You can see the list of genes here, and once you have the genes, then you can start to quantify the amount of ChIP-seq data. Here we'll quantify the, the level at the transcription start sites, so that corresponds to the starts of the regions. And we will also select to quantify from four different samples. And then we will specify what window we should quantify from. You can see the quantified values as a blue squared area. And uh, then you can assess whether you are covering the area you would like to well enough. So now we start the quantitation takes a few seconds and then you can see the new quantified values as new columns here in the region set, new parameters. And once you have those, then you can start to to uh, find this the the regions with the highest level of one of the marks. You will find the genes with the highest level of K27 trimethylation. We do some curve fitting and then we have a new column added which contains O's or uh, ones, depending on whether it passes the threshold or not. And once we have this new column, then we can gate out the regions with a high level. Uh, we simply choose a value of one, then we'll get 7,300 uh, 7, regions that uh, have a high level of this mark. We can rename them by double clicking on the region set. Then we can also calculate uh, the log twofold difference between some of the quantified values. Here we will quantify the log twofold difference between right side double mark and left side double mark. Choose divide and then log two, and then we get a new column, a new parameter, where you have the log twofold difference between the two quantified values. You can also rename those. The names are very long, and it usually uh, makes it a lot easier to find your way around if you choose some shorter names. Then, now that we have made uh, calculated the log twofold difference, then we can use that to sort the regions. Now they have changed the order. You can see that we have low values in the top of the list and high values in the bottom. Then we will add some heat maps. We'll choose to visualize these two double marks, left and right side double mark. And um, we will also add a ratio metric heat map where you see the level of the right side um, divided by the level of the left side. You have to choose what it normalizes to here. And then we also need to change the settings for all the heat maps because the heat maps will by default display the center of the regions and we need it to display the start. That's the transcription start size. Once we have changed that, then it will update and now you can see the transcription start sites of the past two genes here. So that's the transcription start sites of 7,300 genes. You can also make a histogram here. We will need to deactivate the log scale on the x-axis, then we get a more uh, clear histogram here. And uh, if you select some of the regions in the heat maps, then you will see them highlighted in the histograms. So the plots are connected to each other. And you can also gate out a subset of regions. Now we gated out those with the highest uh, level of right side double mark relative to left side. 
Um, and if we duplicate the plots, duplicate the plots, then we can change the region set they're showing by a single click. And now they're showing the, the new regions we gated out. And we can do the same for the heat map. We will also need to change the x-axis here. So um, it fits more with the, the window we'd like to see the values in. So this concludes this demonstration. Thank you for your attention.